there are always lessons we learn every year from the Golden Globes when it comes to the Hollywood Foreign Press and what they're looking for. And so basically I have like four lessons learned. The first is that it sucks to be a genre, a genre show. It didn't recognize uh, the major genre shows of this year. For example, Game of Thrones, Hello, Red Wedding Much, and The Walking Dead, Hello, it's all, it's beating in broadcast ratings, and its writing is like on point. So, this year it really sucked to be a genre show. The second lesson is that it really does suck to be a network drama. All of the series, except for one, The Good Wife on CBS, um, in the drama category were on cable or from Netflix. So either that is a message from the Hollywood Foreign Press that the broadcast networks need to really step it up or it's time for them to start watching more of the big three networks. And the third lesson from Thursday was that it really pays to be a star. They went ahead and they gave nominations to freshman series stars like Brooklyn Nine-Nine's Andy Samberg and uh, Michael J. Fox and probably the most deserving James Spader for Blacklist. But still, I think it was a little too early for some of those. Lesson four. It doesn't pay to be the star. For example, uh, Orange is the New Black did not get a nomination, although I hear that Netflix entered it as a drama and not a comedy. I don't know about you, but I thought I was watching a comedy. What about Lizzie Kaplan on Masters of Sex? If you talk to anyone about Showtime's Masters of Sex, it's all about Lizzie Kaplan and how she steals every scene she's in, and yet she didn't get nominated? Um, are we still watching the same series? So, those were the lessons I learned on Thursday's Golden Globe nominations. What were yours? Tweet us at The Wrap on Twitter or at The Real Jethro on Twitter or visit us at TheWrap.com.